Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to use Track GST Return Activities Report in Tally Prime to track return related activities such as verifying the transactions and making corrections as needed, exporting the transactions, reconciling and signing the returns. The all new Track GST Return Activities Report introduced in Tally Prime Release 3.0 provides you with a one stop location to track all the activities related to returns. Be it GSTR 1, GSTR 2A, or GSTR 3B. Once you know the stages at which your returns are, it becomes easier for you to prioritize your actions. Moreover, you can also configure the report to view only the pending activities in returns so that you can act accordingly. Now, let us see how to view the Track GST Return Activities Report. Press Alt plus G. Type or select Track GST Return Activities and press Enter. The report opens for the current financial period. Press F2 to change the period if needed. As you can see, the report is displayed period wise. And there are four columns with yes and no to indicate if the activities are pending or completed. Corrections needed contains the returns with transactions that are uncertain due to mismatch in tax rates, party GST in, or other reasons like invalid HSN or SAC code. Place the cursor on Yes and press Enter to view the summary of the return and the respective pending activities. You can further drill down to any section in the report and view transactions. Similarly, you can view returns pending for export. And if there are some exceptions during reconciliation, then you can drill down and view the report too. Finally, if all the three columns display no, then it means that the return is ready to be signed. You can drill down and sign the return using the sign return button or press F10 to do so. You can also view the report return wise. Click return wise. The report will be displayed based on the types of return under which the different periods will be listed. Now click period wise and the report will be displayed based on the periods under which types of return will be listed. Press F12 to configure the report. As you can see, you can view the condensed or detailed report as required. And sorting method will allow you to sort the report as per return period. Select period decreasing and press enter. You can view the report with the return in such a way that the returns for the latest period gets displayed on the top and the earlier ones below. Similarly, you can select period increasing to view the report with returns for the earlier period on the top and the later ones below. If you are using the multiple GST registrations feature, then the report will list all the registrations. You can also press F3. Select the GS TIN and view the report for a specific GS TIN. Now, let us see how to use basis of values to view the report for returns with only pending or completed activities. With basis of values, you can view the report as per the data you need. Press Ctrl plus B. You can see that all returns is selected against type of returns. Press Enter. In the report details screen, the without pending activities option helps you to view returns with the completed activities. You can also view report to know the pending activities. Select with pending activities and press enter. Now press enter on show return having pending activities off. You can view the returns that need corrections pending for export with exceptions in reconciliation or ready to be signed as needed. To view the report to know the returns with transactions that need correction, select corrections needed and press enter. Press Ctrl plus A to save the settings. As you can see, only one column is displayed with returns pending for corrections. 
drill down to view the summary of the corrections needed and then you can correct values in multiple transactions from the report. Or you can further drill down to view the transactions and take actions as needed. Similarly, you can use the basis of values option to view returns at different stages of the return cycle. As you saw, the track GST return activities report in Tally Prime is a one-stop repository to know the state at which a particular return is. Moreover, you can configure the report based on your role in the business and act accordingly. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to Tally Solutions channel for latest videos.